main shaft at the Aurora East Rand gold mine in Johannesburg. It's supposed to be buzzing with activity, but this asset that was meant to generate income for the economy stands idle waiting to be revived or worse, liquidated. I don't think anybody's going to invest in it from what they can see now. Would somebody invest if they could see more? Maybe. The company must be put under final liquidation so that they can be taken to for an auction so that everybody who wants it they can take it. So whatever the money that it can buy, it, whatever it can be, 20 rand or how much is good, but as long as the mine can still run and then person can choose who they want to work with. Since June, more than 2,000 workers have not received their wages. Most of them spend their days idle and may spend their Christmas this year without loved ones as they can't afford to travel. The life is still going to be difficult for us. We're still going to continue to live in this life like this because we are living in a difficult life now. But there is nothing we can do as long as the court does not take an action or the agent action to help the people. Already two investors have withdrawn proposals to invest in the mines. First, it was Malaysian company AM Equity, which had promised to spend some 800 million rand on both mines. Then, Aurora claimed that it was awaiting 1.5 billion rand investment from a Swiss-based private equity group, Global Emerging Market. This also fell through. With infrastructure like this, it is hard to believe that any investor will be interested, including the Chinese. And, and we all think these Chinese companies are the white knights. I hear this in the States, I hear it in Africa. The Chinese are going to come. Now we know the Chinese have more money than anybody in the world, so it's natural for them to be a white knight. But Chinese are quite astute. They've been looking at mining projects, mineral projects in this country, this continent, for easily more than a decade. And they're very astute, and there's a lot to choose from. And this is probably the worst gold asset in South Africa right now. Going forward, what needs to be done? First of all, there has to be some kind of security at the mine. That's to prevent things from being stolen. And so much has been stolen from all these Pomozzi gold assets under the, what do we call it, under the auspices of Aurora. Since Aurora's been there, so much has been stolen, vandalized, destroyed, or lost, say water flowing up the shaft, flooding lower levels. So you have to stop the continual depreciation of that asset Otherwise, it, it, you won't even get anybody on paper to look at it, let alone in, in person. Without an estimated bill of a half a billion rand required to restart the mines, the prospects of a liquidation remains very real. Says liquidator Enver Motala, and I quote, It is premature to predict the outcome of the negotiations with the Chinese, but it looks promising as the documents sent by the prospective investor show that they are serious about investing in Aurora. End of quote. Mutala remains mum on the name of the Chinese investor. Failure to clinch a deal with the prospective investors will mean that these gates will remain closed. In the meantime, workers will have to hold their breath until the money is on the table.